my first ever for exploring adventure and it was like no other adventure I've ever experienced. It was amazing and spectacular. But what is for exploring? For exploring takes you on the path less traveled with endless vistas, warm campfires, countless stars, just a few perks you encounter. It's a backcountry adventure with sand, rocks, two tracks specifically selected for you. Four Exploring provides guided 4x4 off-road adventures from overlanding to rock crawling on the trails. They take care of all the logistics and most adventures they provide incredibly yummy, delicious camp meals. Ooh, it's bubbling. Oh my God, that looks delicious. I'll eat quickly. Thank yeah, not you. Yet. Uh -oh. I have the. All right. Thank you. That would have been good. Okay, I'm getting. You better. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. How'd you sleep? Wonderful. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you, Matthew? Excellent. Oh, you can smell it. Another yummy breakfast from Bob and the crew that did not disappoint. For Exploring brings off-road enthusiasts together for a shared experience and lifelong friendships. Meet Bob and Mary, owners of For Exploring. Bob is a die-hard Jeep enthusiast who founded For Exploring. It's a proud division of TNT Customs. We'll chat a little bit, make sure everything's working on the way down the hill. Um, like I said, we're going down through the roundabouts, up Main Street, past the casinos, and then uh, Lime Kiln Canyon. I say it's lower, I sh smear it. Say it fast, three times. That's where we're going. <laughs> That's our path up through the mountains um, to the high country, and then if everybody's ready to go, let's roll. Cut it, Bob, let's go. <laughs> we were on a journey of a lifetime with 350 miles of open wilderness and no amenities. Just us and the unspoiled nature of the Arizona Strip. Life is good. We began our trip traveling into the Virgin Mountains with a moderate climb over Lime Kiln Pass to the canyon. This rugged desert path consists of rocky, twisting canyons and vast high deserts filled with Joshua trees and red towering sandstone. We meandered our way back into Nevada through a small section of Gold Butte National Monument to our second mountain climb over Whitney Pass. Once through Whitney Pass, you could see for miles on the high desert plains, the Grand Gulch Canyon. The views were spectacular. We were making our way through the Grand Parachute National Monument. The scenery was breathtaking, and the deeper we went, the more spectacular the views. Parachute is remote and vast. No crowds, no lines, and one of the best places in the world to view dark night skies. We came upon an old abandoned mine and decided to make camp for the night. Up the hill from the mine at an old airstrip overlooking the canyon on a solitary vista. Grand Gulch Mine. It was an amazing night up on that airstrip. The light pollution from Las Vegas was still visible on the horizon, but the stars and planets were abundant. Bob, Mary, and the crew were preparing a gourmet meal while the guests got to know each other on the first night of this amazing adventure. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. What are we cooking today? We are trying a new twist on an old recipe. Five layer country breakfast. Five layer country breakfast. A little southwest style. We woke up the next morning 
day two to an amazing sunrise, blue skies, fresh air, and the smell of sausage and chorizo cooking. Oh, that smells good, just coming mm -hmm. out of the Yeah, could package. you eat that just like that? Nice big patties if you want. Oh, I know. Look, look. Our morning started out on a dusty desert path surrounded by Arizona's majestic mesas. We were headed to Snap Point for our first look at the Grand Canyon. The road to Snap Point is deeply rutted, and during certain times of the year, the road can be closed. We found a small clearing at the edge of the high cliffs and decided to get out for our first view here. It was simply breathtaking. And it was on to Twin Point Overlook for our second night of camping under the stars. We got to camp early that afternoon, which gave the guests of For Exploring a chance to chill on the scenic vista. The majestic cliffs sparkled with color as the sun began to set. Bob and his crew were busy preparing another fantastic meal for dinner. Day three's journey was leading us to Kelly Point for another night of camping along the northern rim of the Grand Canyon. The road to Kelly Point leads to amazing views, but the road is only for those with the fortitude to withstand four to five hours of bouncing around in your 4x4 vehicle. It is one of the roughest and slowest roads in the National Parachant Monument. Right before the rough road began, we made a pit stop at the Waring Ranch. Back into our Jeeps, it was time for the bouncy four to five hours to our next stop, Kelly Point, with the most amazing views of the northern rim of the Grand Canyon. Then, Bob and his crew whipped up some Hungarian goulash while Mary baked us some tasty beer bread. Oh, it's a little crumbly. And that's hot. Who's next in line? Guys, get your plates! Desserts! Last three to four days. Yep. If you never use it, you pay the whatever $25 rental fee. After our tasty breakfast of blueberry pancakes and sausage, and the spectacular view of the sunrise at Kelly Point, one of the best views on the northern rim of the Grand Canyon, it was back to Wheeling. So we are leaving Kelly Point. And you can see our trail, the blue part is what we went in and we're going backtracking out on it. And you can see all the, the green right in here, that's the plateau. All the brown is canyon. So we're crossing over a very small, small part right here. Kind of cool that we're on one of these points of the Grand Canyon that juts out. We hopped in our Jeeps and headed out the 27 miles from the point to Waring Ranch. Then it was on to our next location, Whitmore Point, a view that blew my mind. Oh, there's Bob way down there. We started going down in elevation in the canyon for our first view of the Colorado River. We made it to Whitmore Point at the perfect time, just as the sun was setting and the temperatures were dropping because just a couple of hours before we got there, it was 90 degrees. Once the stars came out, it was time to set up our camps and Mary began preparing the night's feast. Can you give us a hint? We're cooking. <laughs> Mary will scoop and scoop and scoop you're not, again. You're not going away with yeah, one scoop. Go. Okay. Day five on the Arizona Strip, which is along the northern rim of the Grand Canyon. You can see the Grand Canyon down there and we're packing up. We're going to head out for the last leg of the trip. We're heading to Kanab, Utah, I think. Kanab, Arizona, I can't remember. Anyway. It's been an amazing trip. Thank you, Bob and Mary, with For Exploring. I've met some great people. 
saw some of the most amazing sights of the Grand Canyon and it's been a fabulous time camping out in the middle of nowhere and the stars at night and seeing the beautiful scenery of the Arizona desert. David Tammy. TNT Customs and Fork Exploring help you master your terrain. Whoa! Come on! We're out of us. We almost died. <laughs>